Okay, so in this one, another Josh Ball edit, we have the raw image and we're trying to recreate the exact edit of Josh Ball here. He's got a really clean style. We've done quite a few tutorials on him before. Very filmic. You can see that there's a lot of smoothness that's mostly done in the curves. We are working with his images from these ones. So we're trying to recreate the exact same edit. So yeah, obviously like warm tones throughout the whole edit. If you look closely, the blacks that hold a bit of blue to offset the warm through his entire image a low contrast smooth and yeah let's get into this one okay so settings 24 mil 1.4 shutter pretty fast there exposing for the highlights you can see here if we enable profile corrections 24 mil coming back up so it's a bit dark at the moment because the curves are already done as you can see we need to brighten the subject add that matter in so these are the curves they're already done so i'm gonna explain a little later on in the middle of the edit where it makes sense what role these curves are playing to help you understand we want that silky finish the curves here are super important for that we'll just up exposure because it's just too dark cool it down because of all the tungsten what i did do is do a lot of split turning because i'm pretty familiar with this style now so i've done like five tutorials on josh ball before always using a lot of warm split turning i'm gonna go in the shadows so that's why i like the white balance it's exactly what you'd think it is because choosing to add in so much warmth is what he does in so many videos just a little in the mids and the highlights i'm gonna add a lot of warmth as well style in general is consistently really warm back up top now we'll just work getting the right exposures make sure the subject's pretty visible highlights so this is common for that matted look it's hard to describe if you've watched my other tutorials with josh goes for a strong matted look what i'm going to do is bring blacks up and shadows down and it seems kind of counterintuitive but when you understand the curves we're getting so much contrast you really drop close to the blacks close to the shadows really deep when i say deep i mean very to the left we're adding a lot of contrast down low can reveal lots of detail blacks up to contrast so i did kind of start off this edit with previous settings i just copy and pasted some of his settings over uh, if you don't know he's a guest editor in the course he breaks down five of his edits himself where you get the preset and the raw image to follow along him teaching clarity smooth dehaze for a bit of glow and smoothness and here's a filmic pretty natural look bringing these down softens a bit more of a glow softer texture bring the saturation down and all the way down to the bottom so just from a preset that i was working with from a previous edit of his all the calibration settings were like this just quickly do them you can see we get that color split quite nice moving the blue primary so yeah these settings were from a preset i wouldn't probably use calibration like this if i was starting from scratch but i always do play with this the shadow tint i think it can help white balance so much use for a bit more green grain while we're down here just a little bit hardly noticeable bring the roughness down yeah obviously they're not exactly the same shot should be able to fine tune everything just using hsl now yellows I'd say to the left a little bit greens not many greens but i'll go a little to the left saturation not much here skin tones a bit over the top blues down a bit i think things are a bit more cinematic when saturation is down luminance is kind of important for this i'd say we want deep rich tones you can see how the blue really brings down it looks cool up but you can see that he's got a deeper look going i'm gonna bring down sharpness and yeah i think we're not too far away i think there's a bit more lift potentially lift the black point or just move this play with this a little bit to the left just to soften the blacks increase the lift a little bit probably need a vignette and a bit more crunch to the image maybe clarity back a bit touch more contrast maybe highlight up because he does have a bit more glow if you look at the light bulb that is glow highlights bringing up gives the glow but then it's like too bright so maybe we then drop the whites a bit and then we keep that glow and it's not too bright back there and touch more contrast and yeah i'm pretty happy with that probably a really quick brush on the subject make sure the subject's face is quite visible the edges of the subject exposure the tiniest of it 
Shadows up to touch. I'm kind of happy with that. Also, his image, our image. Yeah, pretty happy with that. The reset. We, got, we cropped in a lot as well. You can see there's just so much negative space down here. Zoom in there. So yeah, head over to muddenstrader.com. Links in the description for free. Presets, a background on the course and who it's for. I'm going to be covering a few more of his edits soon. So yeah.